Oh my god. And this is why this generation, dating in this generation is just, what did T-Bank say? It's cooked. You got women cheating on the niggas, turning these niggas into these tier one alpha males, wannabe thug ass niggas. Now you got these wannabe thug ass niggas cheating on the homebody. Now the homebody at the HBCU in her dorm room getting demolished by 10 BBCs, telling her new nigga that she's studying. Now the new. So, I found this video on TikTok. I was watching it. It was a, I don't, a stitch, or I don't know what it's called, a duet. But um, I found the original video, and off what she said in the beginning, I have a lot to say, and it's kind of like, I have a lot to say about this topic, because it involves dating and this generation and marrying and all this. So, yeah. Red flag that's not talked about enough is men who boohoo crap. I'm just going to let it play all the way through, and then I'll say what I want to say. Right. Why are you crying that hard? Like, that's not talked about enough is men who boohoo cry at their weddings. Why are you crying that hard? Like all that tells me is that you did some shasty stuff during the whole relationship and you literally cannot believe that this girl is still choosing to marry you. That's all that tells me. I think a red flag that's not and talked like, about enough. It's like she's like so very dead serious. Let me put the one on my don't know. It's like she's, and this is what I mean when I, like, when I be trying to tell you niggas that dating is cooked in this generation. It's cooked. And I feel so bad for people who won't ever be able to experience what real love is and experience, like, having another person because they think like this because of their trust issues. And she probably was hurt in the past. So she's projecting her hurt onto every, all men. So if you cry... She probably had a man that cried and did her wrong, but would always cry to her. And that's what she, and that's her, that's her uh, perception on niggas that cry. And it's so sad that people think like this. It's it's really sad. I'm not making that as an excuse for her because she's stupid. She's stupid. I don't want to call her that and be mean, but she's stupid. And this is why dating is cooked. And it's like a cycle. Like the cycle will be like, a woman cheats on a man in high school, and now the man turned into a red pill alpha male dude, and he wants to be a thug and make all this money and puts women last and plays all these games. Now he's cheating on homebody girls, the good girls. Now the good girls are turning to bad girls. Now they're in their dorm rooms at HBCU, taking 10 BBCs, telling her new nigga that she's cheat that she's studying. And now the new niggas believing that she's studying, but then finds out that she's cheating. And now he's in the gym talking about, ah, bitch, and all this, and doing all this. I feel so bad for people like that, because they will never experience real love, because they have all these trust issues. And people just, they don't know, people don't know how to be faithful. And it's like crazy. Because I've seen another video. I don't know how to find it. I've seen um Playback Play uh, watch it. And I watched a video about it. And the, the the nigga said, the girl said um that she had a good guy in her life that was opening the door, brought her flowers, took her to a nice restaurant for the first date. First date was perfect, open like opened the car door, all this, what a gentleman's supposed to do on the first date. And she called, she texted her ladies group chat and called him lame. But they'll come on the internet, men too. And they'll tell, they'll, they'll lay out what they want. Like, I want a gentleman to do this, but when you give it to them, it's called considered lame. Like, it's like the little stuff I do nowadays. Like, let's say if I'm talking to a girl at my job and I tell them what I do for the woman, my other half. And they'll say, oh, you're such a nice guy. What do you mean I'm such a nice guy? I'm supposed to do that. I'm a gentleman. I'm supposed to take care of the woman that's along in my life. What do you mean I'm a nice, like, why does that make me nicer? Because of the guys you deal with and they be treating you like trash, but you keep going back and forth to them. And, oh, I love him so much. And he does this, but you're crying every day about him. A gentleman not supposed to make his woman like, he's not supposed to. And, like, I'm looking at the comments now. Like, she's just. And this is what I mean. Like, people in the comments talking about this generation is cooked. Like, it's cooked. Like, dating is cooked. And I, and I, and I understand why some people just don't want to date. I see why there's men in the United States of America right now that fly over to Brazil and date those women, which I don't get why they would date those women. Cause I don't know. It's like, it's like a, it's like a, I don't put it's like a double sword. 
Because, like, y'all fly over there to them other countries to get those women, but y'all only do it because y'all want to control women. You can't control women in the U.S. because they have freedom and they have rights. In those other countries, the women don't got rights, so they're easily to be controlled and they'll do what you say because they're scared of men. Or they're, they're I don't know, I won't say scared, but that's that that's what they're supposed to do. They don't have no rights in those societies over there. Women have rights in the society, but it's like... I don't want to be like... I don't want to say this in a red pill way because I'm not a red piller and I'm not no blue. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. I believe right is right and wrong is wrong and what she said is wrong. If when I get married, I'm probably gonna cry at my wedding because it's like, dang, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with the love of my life and I'm gonna be able to do everything. Like my entire life is gonna be revolved around my woman and then once we have kids, we'll be kids and a family and that's that's what I'll be thinking about. Like, dang, I'll have a family soon. So that's why I'll be crying. That's probably why the nigga will be boohoo crying. Stop projecting y'all trust issues onto every man because you'll never find the right, you'll never find the, you'll never find the man for you because you keep projecting. There might be a good man in her life right now, but the way she thinks right now, she's projecting all those, those negative thoughts that, that her trauma gave her onto, boom. And that's why I be talking about these red pill YouTubers. They got cheated on in high school by a girl and now they just say, oh, F these women, they're nothing. They're all shit. You got to play games with them. You'll never be happy. There's no fulfillment in doing stuff like that, chat. I'm going to let y'all know this right now. So if y'all believe that all women ain't nothing in you and there's no good women and all women are the same or y'all believe that all niggas are the same, if y'all believe everyone in this world is the same because your experiences with the people you chose to deal with, when they chose, show, they showed you the signs in the beginning and you still chose to deal with them, that's your fault. That's not everybody. There's a reason why my parents have been married for goddamn... Four years. I don't know how long they've been married. They've been married for a minute. But the reason why they've been married for 40 years, they made it work. It'd be like one slight low, low thing. Like, oh. I see what I seen. A girl said that she didn't like the way he brushed his teeth or something like that. So she broke up with him. So you're telling me the way she brushed his, the way a man brushed his teeth is why you broke up with him? My mama told me that when she washes my dad's underwear, that there'd be freaks in it. And... If that woman says the way he brushed his teeth is crazy, I know she gonna leave a nigga who pays the bills, does everything for her, and this has streaks in his draw. She gonna leave him too. So it's like, it's like, like I, it's like, bro, this generation is cooked. That's all I can really say. Cause I, anything I can't, I don't. There's really nothing people can do to fix this. It's cooked. It's so good. People gonna think the way they think. They chase toxicity. They chase negativity. Negativity makes money. Toxicity makes money. Uh, sex sells. And then this is what people agree with. They, that's why you got hella OnlyFans models and niggas beating Amy. It's just so. It's just this generation is cooked, bro. Like it's it's truly cooked. And it's like I have to live and like these people that the one they're we're they're the new she they're the new adults. Like we're the new adults. And she's supposed to raise kids. Like imagine this. Imagine this is gonna be somebody's mama one day. And this is a um, what's the uh, a digital footprint? Like that's what how that's how she thinks. Like I said, it's an ongoing cycle of people just doing each other wrong and making now people don't have control. They don't have to control them. So so, you do me wrong, I'm about to do everyone else wrong. And I almost went down that path. Like I cheated on in high school. And I was just, I was going to go down a path in college that I was just going to do everyone wrong. And I thought about it. It's not, I'm not, that's miserable. That's, that's, that's not, that's not, that's not fulfilling. Like, I'm fulfilled right now having just one person in my life. But the real pill nigga would tell you, you're supposed to have multiple women on your roster to be a man. No, you don't, bro. You got one woman, bro. What are we going to tell uh, girls? Don't deal with it, nigga. Have a nigga to pay your bills. Have a nigga that takes you on dates. Have a nigga to buy you clothes and all this. And then, and that's how you, uh, that's how you play the game. No, that's not how you play the game. These, these people need God, like, really bad. Like, they need the Lord in their life, like, super bad. And I feel bad for them, bro. And it's like when you try to tell them the word, if they want to ignore it like that, the, the demons in them, it's, shove away the world like they don't want to hear none of that bro I'm like, all right cool 
tried my best. I tried to try to tell you how I was, but you don't want to listen to me. But cool. But that's enough for this talk.